Andy Pilgrim with CNET Roadshow in the new 2021 Porsche 911 Turbo S. This actually isn't a road, it's a racetrack. It's the NCM Motorsports Park in Bowling Green, Kentucky. This is the new 992 version of the Turbo S. The Carrera and the Carrera S have already been out, but now we have the 992 version of this one. And it's, it's quite something. For the first time ever, the 992 is coming with the sport suspension option. What does that mean? We're talking stiffer springs, lower ride height, and more aggressive base camber settings, and you can really tell in the steering. It reacts superbly to steering input. Another first on the Turbo S is the sport exhaust option. So let's play with it, yeah? And that's Sport Plus, which knocks the gear shift down and makes a more aggressive shifting in the trans. That's... That was just a quick run to about 120 miles an hour. I don't care if it's piped in, it sounds awesome. Your stereo's piped in, you enjoy that, don't you? The new redesign has also increased downforce for the new Turbo S, about 15% over the last version. It's got about 150 pounds of downforce now at 124 miles an hour. Same actually as the last generation of the GT3. That's pretty impressive and you can certainly feel it through corners like this one when you're doing like 95, 100 miles an hour through this like long right hander, you can really feel the support and that's an increase in downforce as much as chassis and suspension. You can certainly feel it. At 36, 36 pounds, it's really not that heavy. It's about the same weight as a BMW M2 and it's got massive sneakers to go with it, so it, it, it hides its weight very, very well. The Turbo S has now increased horsepower by 60 to 640 horsepower and to 590 pounds-feet of torque. That's an increase of 37 in the torque figure. This thing is a stomp puller. You just goes. That's incredible. Porsche's active management system's always done a great job, and the Turbo S has the latest, greatest version. What does that mean exactly? Normal mode, it's extremely comfortable on the street, which it is, and on the racetrack here, like in Sport Plus, it gives you the stability and it gives you the stiffer setup that really works on the racetrack. The thing that's interesting with this one is, if you're in a GT3 or a GT2 around here, you can get away with using maybe two curbs. With this one, you can use any curb you want. And the suspension says, yeah, yeah, just give me more. I mean, look at this, turn seven. This is a curb you can kind of get away with, but not in turn eight. You just basically, a GT two or three would be very upset using this curb. And then if you come down to turn nine here, you come ripping across turn nine curb, doesn't like that at all. And then we can come down to turn 10, why not? Let's just keep rolling. And we come in turn 10, spit this thing in, and off of the interior curb, and off we go. And we don't, all wheel drive helps. Porsche's active management system does a fantastic job with this car. Another fun part on the Turbo S is Porsche Adaptive Aero. When you put it in Sport Plus, it grows a splitter. So at the front, when you turn it on, the splitter drops down and lowers the front ride height, which helps with aero as in downforce, and in the rear, it deploys the rear wing up, and together they work very well to aid the stability and a large part of that 150 pounds of downforce. I understand the changes Porsche has made to the 992 Turbo S are looked at as evolutionary, I understand that, but for me, the driving experience now, the changes to that, revolutionary. So, having said that, Let's go get a zero to 60 time, quarter mile time. We'll run through the flying half mile here at NCM Motorsports Park, see what top speed we can get, and a hot lap. 992 Turbo S, zero to 60. This is going to be obnoxiously quick. Ugh. 239, amazing numbers. No adjustments for rollout here, no adjustments for weather. Here we go. Quarter mile, another ridiculously quick launch coming up. All right. It picks up speed so fast. It's got so much grunt. Unreal. 10.34. 
incredible numbers from the Turbo S. Something I love to do here at the NCM Motorsports Park is a flying half mile. It's not like a true flying half mile, but we get to be starting it around 90 to 100 miles an hour in the quick cars like this one. It's just fun to see what top speed I can get before I actually chicken out at the end of the straightaway and hit the brakes. The fastest thing we've ever had was the McLaren Senna, which did 180 miles an hour before I uh, hit the brakes. 174. That's the second fastest car we've ever had here. Superb. Here is the run-up to the start of the hot lap for the 992 Turbo S coming through 22, 23 onto the front straightaway. And this is when we pass the start and finish line at the end of this one is when the clock will start. It's up to 150 miles an hour, that is as quick as most things have ever done down that straightaway. Through one. The Pirelli P0s are doing a fantastic job. These are not the stickiest tire. They're superb. They do give up a little bit in the mechanical grip sense for sure, but the consistency working along with this new 992 chassis, I'm just able to manipulate this car. It is a fantastic chassis. Coming into five, five min speeds around 96, that's excellent, excellent. Using the curbs here, again, the suspension changes they've made for this car and the PASM system, the active suspension management system on this car is so good, I can get away with using all kinds of curbs with this car. And the all-wheel drive is just catapulting me out of these corners. Watch coming in here. Slide, rotate the car, slide it a little bit, just bang the gas and boom, it shoots out of the corner. Deception, turn it in, tiny bit of deception curb there. I can't say enough about these tires. They're consistently doing a great job. Yes, the car moves around a lot, but the, the tire with the chassis is allowing me to put the car pretty much where I want. Just touched 100 there, that's excellent. Anytime you can get to 100 through there. And here we come to the patience areas. This is 18, 19. Just got to get through here as quickly and efficiently as possible. Going to put it on top of this curb, down into the sinkhole, out the other side. Patience here. And it's holding above 50, that's good. A little bit of curb here, a little bit of curb in 22, get away with it, and rock it out onto the front straightaway. This is going to be quick. It's going to be quick. Two minutes 9.58 that is a little over a tenth quicker than the GT500 Mustang with the track pack amazing this car is something very special I've driven a lot of turbos in my time especially over the last 20 years fantastic street cars but when you took them on the track they were a bit of a handful to get the most out of to say the least this one no, no way. You've got a grocery getter, you've got legitimate night at the opera transportation, you've got daily commuter, and now legitimate track day weapon.